Hi, I'm Dave Jenkins, paper cutting artist, and welcome to my studio. Now, some of you may be familiar with silhouettes or paper cutting traditions from Germany, Poland, China, or Mexico. Well, I have my own tradition and I do an eclectic mix of designs. I'm self-taught. I started this as a hobby 30 years ago, but I've been selling my work at craft show venues across the Mid-Atlantic since 1999. Over the years, I've done almost 3,800 different pieces. Now let me show you how I do the work. For about 95% of the pieces I do, I use this German Schirrenschnitte paper. As you can see, it's very deep black on one side, but it's white on the other, so I can draw my design on the back in the reverse and cut from the back. The paper is also very thin, but very strong, so it's quite conducive to cutting. I do my cutting with an X-Acto knife on this self-healing mat. The knife, I use number 11 blades. When the blades get dull or the tips break, I replace the blade. To cut with a dull blade would be pointless. Now, let's take a look at a piece that I've been working on. I'm almost finished. It's the Fly Fisherman. I always start with the most difficult piece first, in this case, it's the fishing line. If I were to cut or break that accidentally, I would have to rethink the piece or start over entirely. After doing that, I'll cut these small interior pieces out and then cut the perimeter. When I'm done, I do some final trimming and turn it over and voila, I have a finished black paper cutting that I'll affix onto some background paper. In this case, I'll be using some sky paper and I use this acid-free tacky glue to adhere the paper cutting. Now, let's take a look at some of my work I have on display here. I have a good representative sample. Uh, we'll start here with Goldilocks and the Three Bears. In this case, I've captured the entire story in one piece. The bears have come home, found the chairs broken, the porridge eaten, they've gone upstairs, and there in baby, bed, bear, baby bear's bed is Goldilocks, and they're not happy about that. Over the years, I've done a number of alphabet cuttings based on particular themes, such as animals, kitchenware, transportation. Here's my musical alphabet. As you can see, it's all cut from one single piece. It's all interconnected. The alphabets that I do probably uh, involve the most time in terms of design and the most time in terms of cutting. On each of the alphabets, I provide on the back a legend identifying each object, including some of the obscure ones, such in this case, the Q is a quintoclave, a French 18th century brass instrument. Now here's Laundry Day. This is a popular design that I've done a number of times. Each time I do it though, I change some of the clothing around or some of the animals so that each piece is unique. This piece evokes nostalgia for many and I find that many of those who buy it hang it up in their laundry room. Now if I want to add color to a piece, I sometimes use postage stamps, vintage postage stamps, and that can include cutting up the postage stamps and adhering them behind the cutting itself uh, to make a sort of Tiffany stained glass look, such as in this piece, Wisteria, which I did recently. There are stamps from over 40 countries represented in this piece. Another way I do uh, I incorporate color is with uh, pieces from vintage board games. And here I've used the property card from Boardwalk, but I've also made the swimmers costumes uh, of bits of Monopoly money, both on the boardwalk and um, under the boardwalk too. Now, occasionally I will use other backgrounds that provide a contrast to the uh, black paper cutting. Here are three examples. Surrey, which is on a vintage ledger sheet from 1890. The Impala, which is on an old map of Southwest Africa. And your grand old flag, which is on a vintage piece of sheet music. Now for people who do not have wall space anymore, I make small tabletop pieces as well, like this beach chair with the beach umbrella. For these small ones, by the way, the tinier the cutting, often the more difficult it is to do. 
I've also done small paper cuttings for Christmas ornaments, such as this ice skater or this classic from the Cretaceous, the Tyrannosaurus with a Santa hat. Now finally, I like to do paper cuttings that make people chuckle or groan as visual puns often. Uh, here's three examples of those. Uh, fencers, in which I have one fencer fighting another fencer of a different ilk as his work has been interrupted. For people who do not have their own coat of arms, I've made goat of arms. And for that couple who loves to scuba dive, here's that's amore. And as you can see, that's amore. Now, over the years, I've done commissions for people who want a paper cutting of their home, of their dog, of their boat, for example. I've also done commissioned work for weddings or in recognition of the birth of a new baby. If you're interested in a commission piece, you can contact me through my website, davidjenkinspapercuttings.com. Also check out that website for uh, hundreds of other paper cuttings and if you want to contact me about purchasing one that you see there. You can also keep up with my current activity on Facebook, again David Jenkins Paper Cuttings. Uh, so thank you very much. I hope you enjoyed this virtual tour. Tune in next week when I'll be providing a virtual tour of my furnace room. Thank you. Bye.